Hey everybody, my name is Molly and I have a store on Teachers Pay Teachers called Elementary Lesson Plans. I actually also have a blog and it's called Classroom Confections. So today I want to take an opportunity to share with you a little bit about my interactive social studies notebooks that I've actually had in my store for a few years and um, just to kind of tell you the history behind them and what they include so you can make a more educated purchase if you haven't purchased them or if you already own them uh, then you will kind of know the history behind them. So let me start by telling you a little bit about me. Like I said, my name is Molly, and I have been an educator for nearly 20 years. Most of my time has been spent in upper elementary with third, fourth grades, worked some with fifth grade. Um, and in those years, um, well, let me back up. I actually also have a degree in elementary education, and my master's is in reading and literacy. So over those years, I um, felt a lot of stress, honestly, in teaching social studies, particularly when I moved to fourth grade. And our standards went um, all the way from Native Americans through exploration, all the way through all the major events of the American Revolution, up through westward expansion, and it was so much information to get covered. You know, a lot of times, social studies gets the back burner when it comes to time being allotted to it. So it might be 30 minutes a day. Um, you've got to cover social studies and science. There's just, there are all these factors. And so it just brought me a lot of stress to think I had to get all this information covered in 180 days. So having that problem, I thought, well, a few, a few summers ago that I was just going to finally sit down and try to figure out a better, you know, method to the madness of trying to get all this covered. And so I thought, well, I'm going to take these standards and I'm going to break them down. And I really need concise passages. I need something that is just really jam packed with all the information. And it's in this concise passage that it's written on a level that students actually might be able to understand it uh, because that's another thing is um, with the social studies textbooks a lot of times I mean they are filled with information they give every detail and kids it's hard for me to pull out you know the major events what they need to walk away with and they surely are having a hard time too um, so it was just a problem and I was trying to find a solution and actually because I've been in the classroom for nearly 20 years, I have heard from teachers so many times, number one, I don't like teaching social studies, and number two, I can't get it all covered, this is ridiculous, and you know how we teachers are when it comes to the standards, and it's just one of the major challenges is getting it all covered. So. I thought that once I decided that I was going to sit down and try to um, come up with a solution to this problem, I thought, well, I'm going to collaborate, I guess you could say, with my husband. And the good thing is my husband has been an educator for uh, 25 years, and his background is in U.S. history. So that's like a winning combination, right? Or we felt, I felt so. So he was, we had never done anything like this before. And so I thought, well, I'm going to take these standards. So I had the standards and I would sit down with him and I would say, okay, this is what I have to make sure that my kids understand this standard. What do you think, and having taught it to high schoolers for all of these years, you know, what are, what should my kids walk away with? What are the main points that go along with this event in history? And so he would make notes and I would know that if I'm writing a passage about this particular topic, I need to make sure that these are the points that I hit in my passage. And so I did research, I wrote the passages, and after uh, several years of doing that, we have um, four notebooks that um, include 59 passages. And within, also with those 59 passages, there are teacher guiding questions. There are, um, there's also a flippable activity that goes with it. Because when I originally created this, I was thinking on the terms of uh, interactive social studies notebook. So my thinking was that my kids would all have a composition notebook and they would glue their passage inside of the notebook and I would have the questions already ready and there would be a flippable activity that correlated with the passage that we, we would use. So um, that's what's included in the notebook. So for every passage, 
you get teacher questions and a flippable activity that goes along with it. And all of that, for me, of course you could use it however you like, whatever's suitable for you. Um, it just worked well to put the passage in and then have the flippable activity on the page beside it, something like this. So you're using the front and the backs of the pages so that they are beside each other. So notebooks one and two, um, actually those, those obviously came about first and they don't, they're not sold in a, in a bound copy. This is actually something that I took and had copied at the copy store because I wanted a teacher copy. So you could do that as well. But when you purchase them on Teachers Pay Teachers, you're actually getting a digital file. So in that digital file though, you have the table of contents and everything is separated by topic. This is actually the table of contents for the third notebook. And on here you have like John Brown's raid on Harper's Ferry, um, states rights, tensions before the Civil War, and that's sort of how it's broken down. Down. And then the page numbers over here are actually clickable so you can click those and it'll take you straight to the page in the pack where you can find that um, passage or activity. So notebooks one, two, three, and four. Those are all sold separately or you can purchase. I do have um, a couple of bundled packs. I have a bundled pack of notebooks um, just something special that I did. Um, it's actually the top seller in my store turned out to be. Um, notebooks one and two can be purchased together along with two other flippable activities because we also have to get into greater detail in how the government is set up and maps and globes um, and landforms. You know coming in to fourth grade it's just always good to touch on uh, basic map skills. Um, some of them seem so basic but quite honestly the kids still struggle with them you know. So they need a review and um, so actually these two can be purchased separately in my store but like I said I have a bundled pack that has notebooks one, notebooks two which is a total of 25 passages and you get these two as well. And um, you, you can um, bind them or you could just use them separately. You could do that however you wanted to, to do it. So this is what they look like if you just um, had a stack that you printed out for yourself. So this is actually um, the passage. And the reason why I want to show you this is because, you know, I originally set this up for interactive notebook. But quite honestly, I've had teachers that have purchased this that don't really want to do the interactive notebook. So they just purchase it for the passages. And it's great because they're just a half of a page. That's really the only, the only difference. They're size for a half page. And the concept behind the half page was, um, you know, number one, I wanted it to fit into my interactive social studies notebook. But number two, um, it just seemed the right size. Like I, like I said, social studies textbooks, they cover so much information and it's so hard to break it down. And so I felt like, well, this is a good boundary for me. If I go over a half of a page, then I should be writing a whole nother passage that's a half a page. So I just wanted to keep everything concise. And so that's where the half page came in. So if you don't want to use the interactive notebooks, then you could just print a half page and then you have the guiding questions for the teacher. Now, I don't know if the flippable activity, if you could figure out a way to incorporate that, it might not work for you if you're not using the interactive notebooks, but you could use the passages. So I just wanted to point that out. Now, after having, um, after finishing notebooks one, two, three, and four, and I decided that I wanted to go back and create um, a few additional activities. Um, so I started with notebooks one and two, and that's all I've done so far. So for notebooks one and two, there's actually an add-on pack. And with that add-on pack, you get, um, I included um, important vocabulary that's uh, ready for them. They can, you can put it in their, their journals. Um, they could define them, you could use them however you want, but it's important vocabulary that goes along with the topics covered in the passage. And also there's a writing activity. There is a comprehension crossword puzzle for every passage. You have to have the passage to be able to complete the crossword puzzle. So that's a fun add-on pack for notebooks one and two. I don't have that for three and four at this time. So. Um, with that said, uh, let me kind of break that down for you again. Notebooks one, two, three, and four can all be purchased separately. 
notebooks one and two can actually be bought in a bundle along with the government and maps and globes pack the maps and globes pack those don't have passages they're just flippable activities so you can read that in the descriptions on teachers pay teachers but about a year ago I had um, somebody come to me and they were going to purchase all of the, all, you know so much in my store I just got the idea that I was going to create a pretty um, concise um, bundle pack so I called it the social studies mega bundle and you can get all four notebooks the other flippable notebooks you can get um, I went back and actually broke down um, the topics even further focusing on biographies important people in history so uh, if you buy that mega bundle pack you actually get all the passages that I wrote on um, important people from the American Revolution important people from the Civil War there's um, a pack for um, six European explorers I have one on six Native American tribes and then I have one on famous inventors because we cover that here um, in the fifth grade in the state of Georgia so I used like I said the state standards for Georgia for fourth and fifth grade to kind of guide me through writing these passages but because it's history these passages have worked for people all over the country because as long as you are covering these same topics in history there's really no reason that they wouldn't work for you so um, I would encourage you and I really appreciate you know reading the uh, feedback that I've gotten for these notebooks over the years because that honest that speaks um, you know to you to give you a better idea really more so than I can because it has been uh, tested by teachers, approved by students, and you really, I think, will understand that if you look through the feedback. So um, if you ever have any questions about my notebooks, feel free to you know, send me a Q&A. You can shoot me an email. Um, but I hope you feel a little bit better about what my notebooks include and sort of understand the history behind you know, how they came about.